You know, it's interesting. If you have a double-digit lead, this would be a bigger part. If you have a two-possession lead of four points or more in the fourth quarter this year in the NBA, you are likely to win the game 85% of the time. Just a four-point lead in the crazy way that the game is played these days. It is interesting what a two-possession game can do in the fourth quarter. All right, so give that to me again if you have a four-point lead. Or greater, but four points is the minimum. And okay. If you have that in the fourth quarter, you are likely to win 85% of the time. You have an 85% winning record. When you have a four-point lead greater than four points, you don't see that much of those fourth quarters. So again, this one far from the open hurt. Lead by 10. George tries to pocket pass inside to Zoo. Intercepted by the Sixers and back they come. I won't feel it good. Into the paint. No power doing a great job on the glass for the Sixers. Misses inside, but he'll go to the line for a couple of free throws where he has been very good, unfortunately. For the Clippers, he's 9 of 12 from the free throw line on the season average. Just makes over half of them. He has 11 rebounds right now to go along with those 9 points. So he certainly has been a factor in this game. I always appreciate the players that were stars and guys that were the featured player for franchises. And he was certainly that in Orlando. When they adapt to the way that their career is going, you don't see it all that often. He has taken a, from an all-star and an MVP type seasons that he had in Orlando and now coming off the bench and, and being a very good role player in Philadelphia as he was last year for the Lakers. What I'm watching is to see if Zoo can get back involved in the game again. He sat an awful long time when he picked up personal foul number four. So can he get his motor going once again to get a couple second shot opportunities for either himself or his teammates? The good news is the Clippers were able to overcome those Zooless minutes. Here is Zoo down the lane, loses the handle at mid flight. 10 point game for the Clippers. Maxi, full steam ahead. They lob it inside to Howard, climbs the back of Zoo, a whistle and a foul. Fourth foul on Howard. Clippers trying to catch the Sixers napping. Man hangs inside. He has hit all eight of his shots here tonight. Technical foul. She left the second little two guys playing back. Took it out for the Clippers. And man, pitch to the head, Tony, with one on one. Man hangs a little bit. Pulls it down, puts it back up. What an effort by Terrence Mann here tonight off the bench, 18 points. And Dwight Howard has just been ejected from the game. We mentioned it earlier, he was given his ring on Thursday night. And then ejected shortly thereafter. And now back-to-back -back games ejected for Philadelphia. And that, that's going to hurt Philadelphia. He was terrific tonight. He only took one shot from the field. He has nine points.